guys welcome back to another video we're just carrying on with this painting if you're new to my channel and you've just kind of dropped onto this video welcome and welcome back to those who have joined me who have subscribed so we're just going to be continuing painting with this one this is with silicone brushes i have let this dry for a few days and we've got some perfect weather for well basically painting with because i've got a lovely big window in my art studio which allows so much light to come in and it's so nice and relaxing i've got a, another tea with me today twining's time to unwind if anyone wants to know uh, a cup of tea always goes well with painting because it just relaxes me and i'm not gonna lie i've, I've needed this a lot <laughs> it's been a lot of anxiety recently so i'm just gonna sit down and paint and enjoy it if you're here for that as well uh, well welcome for the start and i hope you find something useful in this as much as I do in me. Okay. I'll quickly show you my big brush which is yeah this is just one of them I do have a smaller like half the size and then a little pin brick one and um, I'm just going to carry on as well we've got I'll look add in some more green since this part of the hills are Right up. And style very much keep adding until you need to take away and then just keep on going <laughs>
Oh, it's hard to get right because there isn't. I'm having to go off of my imagination because I've got me and my boyfriend standing there instead. I'll get to it. If it's a simple case, I'll have to wait for it to dry and then go back over. Because there was actually a painting underneath this, you can probably see from the lines down here and the marks in between. This bit out. sips of tea to help me decide what to do next because I'm kind of in between should I leave it for it to dry because I feel like any space around it is getting hard to work with because it's still wet so what I like about it actually should we just have a quick discussion about this um, okay so if you're wondering why I've got a weird kind of colour white, it's because I don't actually have any titanium white. I just have like a very flesh like coloured colour that I have. So even though it's been quite hard to be able to paint without white, I've still managed to do something with it and give an impression of bright colour palette. Is that the right combination for it? I've got most of the forms down. Some parts like this water bit has really been brought forward because I've put a lot of layers onto it so I need, now need to go back into the mountains and redefine it and make sure that it's not just one flat surface that you've got blocks. So you've got a block here that sticks out, I've got a little block here, I've started putting little bits around so that where you can see in the photograph or where it comes out and it's not flat. However, saying that in between I've still got some marks and definition and lovely textures but to be able to incorporate them I want to be able to put, make this move forward because this background section is looking like a background section and it does this middle section does come forward a bit but then you've got these trees which are even forward which are in the foreground which is not what I need I need them in the midground it's just a way of trying to be able to balance everything out some sections you get within the first few brush strokes and you're like wow how do I do that and I need to do that for the rest of it but again it's a simple case of do I have to sit and wait for the oil paint to dry for me to carry on and which isn't the worst thing in the world I'm not going to lie because it's a long process and I understand why some people are against oil paints 
because they do take a long while to dry. They take about roughly about a week to dry. Whereas with acrylic paint, they can take, well, at most an hour, depending on how thick you've used the acrylic paint. Yeah, sorry, I just had a quick flashback to um, back at school. But yeah, what do you think? Um, definitely some certain bits that are working. Mm. some bits that need to be improved but I am loving this journey that I'm taking I definitely want to do a larger version of this once again I want to finish this first and then do the larger version and I actually have the board ready I've just got to prime it I think I'll probably go for well, I'll use a quick paint for the background just to neutralise it and I probably will end up using bright yellow paint <laughs> to just mute it and give, well, just to be able to mute it, to do something with it. Maybe thought about putting an oil pastel, but I feel like oil pastel isn't for landscapes. I have used them before, but I don't think they are for my type of artworks. They can be for more for studies and for a quick little introductions into the world of oil pastel, oil pastel through drawing however anything else I feel like doesn't really make sense I also have subtraction painting on the go but it's doing that weird thing where it doesn't know or can decide whatever the hell it, it wants to be and actually going back through the video I realised the first br brush stroke was actually the best one out of them all my thought process of trying to cover up the canvas got carried away of how does this look rather than the state of mind that you need to be in of this needs to be composition rather than what it looks like and I think the colours I actually chose wasn't the right, weren't the right ones and I've actually run out of that colour so I'm going to have to start that one all over again it's not the worst case scenario because actually what I want to do is to incorporate back the blue that was the background colour so I'm just going to keep on learning on that and see how that turns out. I would quickly show you it, but it's it's soaking wet. <laughs> As in, it's just so soggy that I've just kind of put it onto the carpet. Um, luckily, I don't want to keep this carpet because otherwise it would just be an absolute mess. But that's what's happening. Um, I'm hoping that if I keep talking, something will pop to mind. But there is some elements about this painting that I absolutely love. Like I said, the blue water, pools, lakes, rivers. Are working really well they're standing out magnificently I've just got to get my hands and grips onto this foreground part and then start working around with the mid ground oh, no, this is the mid ground that's the foreground <laughs> helps if I can get those two right yeah. yeah so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave this one here I don't normally do about half an hour's painting but I feel like I cannot progress any further without ruining it until it is dry so hopefully within a week this will be back again to manipulate transform into something beautiful and something that someone else will appreciate in the long run so until then thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and also don't forget my links in my description box all my social medias and also my ebay sale account which is where you'll find all my artworks that I feature on my channel plus a couple of extras it's also a paypal donation page if you'd like to make a donation please do i would greatly appreciate it if you can't do any of that please just like and subscribe because it does help me out in the long run we are currently on 264 people and subscribers and happy lovely people if you're one of them thank you so much if you're not one of them please subscribe it will help me out in the long run and i really want to do this as a full-time job I am looking around for part-time jobs at the moment because I feel like that is the only way I'm be able to sustain my current mental health because it's just not ideal at the moment. But it is coping. But I do constantly feel like if one little thing slips up, I'm probably going to end up being on the floor or writing myself off. So yeah, thank you guys again. I shall see you guys later. Bye.